What is up everyone, I am Jordan or JKU390, and we are jumping back into Rome Total War. We are going into the Second Punic War with the Battle of the River of Trebia. We are going to be playing as Hannibal's Carthage, not Hannibal Lecter, but the great general Hannibal. While Rome was taking Italy, Carthage was spending most of its times in parts of Africa, and of course taking Spain. Hannibal, however, not, not a big fan of Rome, so he decided to show the, the Roman Republic what he was made of. But I'm sure they'll explain all of that stuff in the cutscene, so so I don't talk for another 20 minutes like I did last time and just have to cut half of it out. Uh, here we go. The River Trebia, 218 BC. Having sworn an oath at his father's deathbed, the young Hannibal Barker, general of the mighty Carthaginian, sets out to destroy the Romans. Having lost many men marching across the freezing Alps, Hannibal gathers the survivors and prepares to face the might of Rome. His forces are no match for the Roman legions. Hannibal must use the element of surprise if he is to have a chance. He hides his finest cavalry in the forests and then sends his Numidian mercenary cavalry across the river to lure the Romans into the trap. The Romans take the bait and chase the Numidians back across the freezing river. The scene is set for Hannibal to stage his ambush. Timing is crucial. If his cavalry charge too soon, they'll be isolated and cut down by the Roman infantry. If they charge too late, the Carthaginian front line will buckle before the Roman advance. Hannibal also knows that he must use his elephants to create fear and terror. Failure to use these two key units to maximum effect will spell disaster for Hannibal's campaign against Rome. Alrighty. Right, arrow keys is how you move. So, we are looking at our army, actually, right now first. Got armored elephants. We've got war elephants. Got cavalry on this side. Barbarian mercenaries on the middle and right side. Or, the Romans would call everyone here barbarians, because for Rome, barbarians were non-Romans. We got spearmen, 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 right? Or these infantry. Yeah, they're all just the infantry. So we got spearmen. We got archers that are shooting fire arrows. Once the enemies get close, we're going to turn those off. All right, these guys throw spears. Yeah. And I guess it's just a double. We got cavalry in the back. We've got archer cavalry, light cavalry, heavy cavalry. And heavy cavalry. Alright, so this is where our main attack's coming from right here. We need to flank. We need to get behind them. We want the elephants, as they said, to scare them. So we're going to bring the, the elephants on. Uh, we might actually bring... 
I don't know if I want them both to attack from the same flank, or if I want them to attack on their own flank. I do know that I want this cavalry, though, to wait over here. I want... Actually, I want you two. Not the band. Although they might make the, the battle a little bit easier as well, I don't know. Actually, I want to bring them up even closer. We're going to fill the gap. We're going to let these guys throw their... Throw their weapons. Elephants are going to be moving up on the right. I want them to take out... What do we got? Is this cavalry back here? Yeah, I thought they were cavalry when they were running in. And probably back here too. Yeah, we'll need to take those out so that my cavalry here can go in and take out their general. These guys are all just going to keep falling back whenever I get close, so they're not too much of a worry. But I need to make sure that they don't hit my cavalry units. Or my elephants, because they'll spook them. Alright. I think we've got everything set up then, ready to go. I'm going to bring my general back. A significant amount. Hmm... I do have a cavalry charge planned over here already. I might bring these elephants over with these guys. Yeah. No, you know what? I want to keep them separated. At this moment in time, it makes more sense to me to do it this way. Worst case scenario, I can always throw them to the other side. Alright, well, let's begin. Alright, my game may or may not have caused my OBS to mess up, and that the game all of a sudden disconnected from it, and then OBS was no longer connected. It was actually the game froze for a second, and I didn't realize it, so I have to beat this level again, but it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I did it once, so I might as well do it a second time. But yeah, so if there's a weird jump cut there, that's what happened. I'm just going to probably cut back to... Well, I guess right now, so right whenever I click the play button again. Unfortunately, I don't remember what I talked about, but that's okay. I'm sure it was nothing important. Alright. What do I want to do with these guys? Well, they're then probably wait a bit before charging in, because charging now would be stupid. Okay. We'll just play it off as is for now. I'm sitting my elephants very far right. Oops, I forgot to send up the barbarians that time. All right, here's the new plan. I'm gonna send these barbarians that I forgot to send in after these guys, so that these elephants can charge this cavalry brigade. Preferably without smashing my barbarians. These units are gonna just come charge right into this. Actually, first, you. There you go. Catch their cavalry when they're not expecting it. What is this crap? All of a sudden, I got a pop up telling me a new eight freaking installer was installed. I don't care. Alright, cavalry, get in here. No, fight these guys. Because they're going to make my elephants route. No, not my generals.
Ooh. Speaking of general, where there's runoff to? Rotten horses, don't walk. Speaking of run, don't walk, what are you two doing? That cavalry unit's gonna end up retreating because there's not much left on it. But it will be enough to at least slow them down a bit while we wait for the rest of my forces to get in here. Alright, for now the generals are safe. Their general's hiding off in the woods or something right now. Which sounds about right. Silly Rome hiding from the great Carthaginian people. Um. Who routed on my on my team? Was it just the elephant? No, it wasn't the elephants. Okay. They're bringing in more missile units. We gotta stop them now because they are gonna make my elephants flee. This is gonna end bad. Poor barbarians. Oh well, they did what they needed to do. Actually, they lasted a lot longer than I expected them to, so that's even better. There. Oh no, this unit. I have no idea where their general's hiding, or why he's hiding. I actually haven't seen him in this battle. I think he immediately sprinted off and isn't routing. He's just hiding. All right. I mean... Can't let them get their bravery back. Or else they'll bring in a new strike force. Kill this one guy. Erase that unit, please. Good work. Man, the resilience of Rome shows no bounds. Or knows no bounds, even. Doesn't show. Although, I guess if it did show, I'd be a little worrisome. They'd probably have to go to a doctor. Why are my units still routing? Who are they running from? Their whole army is fleeing. Except for that general. It. There they are. They're just going through a hike in the woods. And there's the cavalry that's going to kill him. Alright, see what everybody else is doing. You are standing here doing nothing. Perfect. That's what I like to see with my army. Well, I guess it does mean they, you know, killed everything else. Are these the only units in combat still? Or are they just kind of freaking out a bit? What is exclamation point? They're unhappy. Okay.
Yes, take them out. I want to see that general fall. <laughs> nope, he's going to die. Yes! That is that sweet victory I wanted. For Carthage. Alright. All of you, you go find some enemies that are still hiding or doing something and kill them. Or I'll just speed up everything. That works too. Like this. And now we wait. Some combat going on over here, I think. Oh, no, they're just killing the people around them. Really? None of my units routed? Alright, good work, elephants. I do believe that is all of them. Victory? Is what I think he was going to say. But that is that. There is the victory screen. And now it's time to conclude this video. So I'm sure I'll end up doing more of these historical battles. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's one that takes place after this one, following Hannibal once again, that I might do next. So, you know, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. If you hated it, sorry. I mean, it's a boring history lesson anyway. I don't expect it to be anything uh, extravagant for most people. It's just something I enjoy, and I enjoy the game, so I like to talk about it while playing it. Anyway, until next time, everyone. Later.